okay with the control and to open a new document then this is what we have and i want to go to the preset i'll go to um art and illustration then no i'll go to print rather yes after going to print then i'll go and choose a5 i'll be using a5 i'll be using a5 so you go to print then you choose a5 it comes with the preset already then i'll just come and type the name over here it's a social media church flyer control c i copy it and then control v if you are using a windows and everything is okay so color mode if you want the size is what 148 by 210 millimeters here is in millimeters resolution is 300 and 300 color mode rgb background white and everything is okay so click on create and then you have nice interface with me now unlock the side good everything is here everything is here everything is here so come and copy this hex code and then go to this side that is um, um here and then go to solid color and paste in the hex code control v to paste it, which is 019 aff 019 aff just paste it there and click on ok like this good now we are going to add a new layer good add a new layer click on b to activate the brush tool then use um, um, bracket open to increase the brush size yes use the bracket open to increase the brush size and then make sure your foreground color is white make sure your foreground color is white and then just hit here boom once good and i think that is okay let's test the blending mode and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and then well, let's work on more of the background so the next background we dropped was this we drag it into photoshop and release it this way good and push it to this side yeah we push it to this side because we want that aspect of the light to be showing now we test the blending option and realize that overlay is okay now add layer max to that side add max here click inside the layer mask press b on the keyboard reduce the brush stroke using the bracket open yes reduce it a bit and then brush the side good 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 just brush that side ctrl t and then push it to the side press enter ctrl j to duplicate the same thing ctrl t and then right click to reflect it horizontal and then you can push it to this side and i think this is awesome 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 just keep adjusting it a bit and this is awesome let's still work on more of the background and the next background we are going to import is i think this we drag this in photoshop and release it this way now scale it up scale it up to cover the entire face press enter and let's test our blending mode again we wanted something inside so i think this is okay yes this is okay soft light is okay press enter and then still more on the background more on the background more on the background so which one which one which one we tested this one no no so i think that is the background for now and then put everything in a group and then call it ctrl g uh, ctrl g and then double click here type the background all right so everything here becomes our background okay 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 then i think so let's work on more of the images uh, sorry the backgrounds so we're we'll going to pick this drag it in photoshop and then release it nicely like this and then hold alt and then scale it up like this not to cover the full entire screen good press enter and then let's test the blending options and see um, which one did we choose which one which one which one i think it's either something like this uh okay so we just put it into a linear dodge art yes a linear dodge art ctrl t and then okay push it down a bit like this and then add a layer max yes add a layer mask click inside b for to activate your brush tool now clear the base here good and i think it's awesome then on the keyboard and then let's go and pick the last image which is where 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 no 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 okay let me pick it from here okay so as i said we're just going to pick the last image which is this drag it into this an image of people praising and then yes just this like this press enter and then you set it to soft light 
yes just set it to soft light and then test here to 40 and guys we get that nice feel inside add a layer max and then be on the keyboard just to brush some parts which might be showing yeah which might be showing and then this is awesome so now close everything here and then everything becomes the background now let's work with the logo yeah let's work with the logo yeah let's work with the logo then i have the logo here i drag it and then drop it in photoshop nicely like this and then i push up yeah sorry i push it up like this and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome and then maybe i'll just all right so i need to go and pick this i think this this drop shadow something something i'll just drag it and then bring it here and then boom good all right awesome awesome and then bring it down beneath this good 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 you see how it's creating that texture sorry creating that um, um drop shadow something beneath the logo and that is awesome so let me add layer marks and then be on the keyboard just to clear this side away yeah to clear this side away and again i'll put this and this in a group control chain and then call it what logo okay i think inside the logo i added the present t on the keyboard yeah t on the keyboard and hit here if it's not coming hit here boom and then type your present all right all right present and then we gave it color red all right so that is it and we just type and we are going to use a font called balega yeah i use a font called balega font yeah it's here if you don't have it on your system or if you don't have it it may just go to your browser and then type balega font and we use color red for it not too deep red like that something like this is okay then we turn here to all caps yeah and then maybe here to 10 and then increase here to maybe 100 and that is okay control a and let's center it this way control d to deselect it and then use the arrow key to push it up like this yeah push it up like this and all this becomes your logo yeah, all these things becomes your look. Then the next thing is we are going to bring the details, the details, the details. I have this, this 3D text or 3D text impact I created here. Yeah, I created it myself. I was trying to um, um, get or uh, trying to maybe check if I can design a logo and then I realized that I need to use it. So this is it. And then color overlay and use color red. Yes. I use color red like this and then T on the keyboard again hit here and then type that there. Good there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Which one did we use? I think we used this. It's a Miss Mo. It's a Miss Mo or Merry Goose. Yes, Merry Goose. Merry Goose. It's a Merry Goose rather. And that is it. We must change here to something like 20 the size. Yeah, change the size to 20. Control A. And then you center it this way, control D to deselect it, and then use the arrow key to bring it down. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let's go and copy the next of the text, which is this. Control C to copy it. T on the keyboard still hit here. Control V to paste it. And then we'll change the font. We'll change the font to something like Balega font. Yeah. And let's close here to zero. And uh, control A to select it. And center it this way. Control D to deselect it. And I think the 20 is too much. So let's set it to 15 and see. And 15 too is too small. So let's set it to 18. And I think 18 is awesome. So let me push it beneath it this way. Control A. And then center it. Okay, so you center and align. And I think that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. You center it this way. Control D to deselect it. And then maybe let's increase the size of the v select it and then scale it up like this yeah just scale it up use the arrow key to push it up a bit and if you are okay with it then let's go and put all of those things in a group control j and then call it theme okay all right all right so all this becomes a theme yes the impact 2022 or the impact prophetic conference 2024 yeah 
2024 so that is it and the next thing we are going to work with is we are going to check the images and then if you look at the design carefully we put some rectangles and then insert the images into it before we came up with the name so let's do it as such so come to this side this is the rectangle to right click it and then pick this rectangle to and then draw a nice rectangle that way draw a nice rectangle that way and then maybe we give it color maybe um, um uh, let's say red or blue for the meantime yeah let's pick blue for the meantime and there is something we need to know we need to know i'm sorry we need to do go to view go to guides and then go to new guide layout and then let's set our guys yes i set here to four here to four here one one then just check everything so i can click on okay yeah we make sure that the design doesn't exceed or extend to this side and this side everything will fall within a certain range so drag it to this side to duplicate it drag it to this side to duplicate it and i think it's awesome now it's awesome now it's awesome now so let's just adjust it this way and guys if it is okay for you control control t and then we scale it up this way so i said you scale it up you reduce the size down reduce the size down reduce the size down and then let's pick the first one and we'll give it this new color which is this yeah that is it and then the second one can be the blue or maybe it can be the red color and then the third one can maintain the blue color yeah so that is it this are okay so now we are going to insert the images into it and guys and another disclaimer again these images we are using is for only tutorial purposes we don't intend to represent or to communicate or to maybe um, um defraud or to use their images for something bad but it's just for tutorial purpose only guys it's for tutorial purpose only so drag this and drop it in photoshop all right and then it's set nicely like this hold out and then scale it down yeah always scale it down and then push it inside like this good and then right click and then create clipping mask where is it where is it where is it where is it then it means okay so select the image and then push it to this side yeah yeah push it to this side and that is awesome then control j to duplicate it and then add layer marks to it and then be on the keyboard and clear that side away we do the size of the brush and clear the side away we just want the image to be inside the rectangle yeah we want the image to be inside the rectangle only the image yeah in so doing we are creating something unique yeah we just create something unique and then just do it this way so just keep doing it so this is the next um, 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 shape to so go and pick the image and then come and do it as such yes come and do it as such so drag this and then drop it this way right click and then sorry maybe press enter yeah press enter right click here and then create click a mask to it Control t and then push it that way all right all right all right all right all right double click it or control G to duplicate it and then add layer marks b and then clear that side away yeah clear it away you don't want it so just do the same to the rest of the images the number of images in which you are to use with or you have to work with just do same okay so now we are done with it 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 and um let's see something let's see something let's see something let's see which one is this okay so let's push this to this side a bit and um i think it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome so let's see yeah it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome so now all this thing in one group so let's put it in a group control j control j to do, uh, group them and then right click and then convert to smart object like this good and now pick our lens flare let's pick our lens flare this is the nice lens flare 
drag it into Photoshop, hold shift and then scale this side this way. Yeah, now it turns to a different shape and then put it here. Yeah, put it here and drag it, hold alt and then drag it and push it here. Drag it and push it here. Drag it and then push it here. And that is awesome. And now we are going to set a blending option for each of them. Or better still, you can select this side and then select this side and then check your blending option. Yeah, check them once. Which one will be better? So I think I'm liking this. Uh, this is okay. Good. So if this is okay for you, just pick it that way. Yeah, so we set the blending option to lighten. Yes, lightening. And then maybe all this thing in a group again. Control G and then call it images. Yes, images. Now control T and then let's see if we can bring it down. Yeah. Now meaning the team must go up. Yeah, the team must go up. Must go up, up, up using your arrow keys. Just push it up that way. Push it up that way. And then go and pick the names. Go and pick the names. Go and pick the names or go and type the names. Yeah, go and type the names. So for the purpose of tutorials, I'll just drag this name and this name. Where is it? Okay, so just drag it this way and then come and put it here nicely like that and guys that is awesome so the next name is this and then this so where is it okay okay let's see so i'll just drag them away like this awesome and then put it here and that is awesome and then go and pick the last one or oh, i just double click drag this one and then put it here and then just edit them yeah just edit them and you are good to go so if that is okay for you then all this thing in the group and then call it names oh sorry 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 select everything control g and then call it names okay so i think um we are done with um, the images, name, themes, um, and so on and so forth. Now let's go and add the date and things. Yeah, let's go and add the date and then the details. So if you look at this side, I have my venue here. So I'll just go and copy everything. I open the venue folder and then copy the venue. Yeah, I'll just copy everything and then drag it this way and then bring it here. Just come and paste it here and then that is it. Then control G to put it in a group and then call it venue. All right, all right, all right. And then again, I'll go to the folder again, go and copy the date. Sorry, 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 where is the date? It's date and time, so I'll just copy them. I'll just copy them, yes. For the purpose of tutorial, we don't want the tutorial to be too long. So that's why we are copying, but you can just type them and then that will be cool that will be cool that will be very very cool yeah then control g and then call it date and time date and uh, time all right and then the next thing again is maybe the contact details yes it's not even maybe it's the contact details so this is it and then for more info so just come and drag it this way and then put it here then just adjust it this way and then control G to put it in a group and then <coughs> contact details yeah so that is it and then let's select the three and then center and align we said we will not exceed this line so we should make sure that it falls within yeah it should fall within and then the next thing is we are going to copy the live location icon so just copy them like that i'll just copy them if you have yours just drag it and then drop it adjust the size and that is cool yeah drag it drop it and then adjust the size and that is cool control g and then call it live location location 
and that is it control t to test if it's at the center and guys i think it's at the center and guys this is how no this is how but not totally this is not how this is not the total then we drag this and drop it in photoshop that is nicely drag tilt it this way and come and turn the angle to 90 awesome hold alt and then drag this side to cover the entire screen and then set a blending option to something closer to let's test it and see okay so we set the blending option to i think lightning 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 hey where are you lightning okay so lightning is here and we add layer max yeah be on the keyboard and then let's clear some parts away it's we don't want the tester to be showing in the face and things like that but we just want that tester to show in some parts of the tutorials and or part of the design and then drag this again drop drop it in photoshop and then scale it up again press enter and then set a blending option to it again and i think this is awesome no 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 let's test again let's test again and i think this is awesome or oh, what do you think and i think it's okay 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 so guys this is awesome this is awesome and when we are done we are not done yet i think there was something we needed to do you drag this lens flare again and put it at the impact yeah put it at the impact and then blend it together and let's see yeah blend it together blend it together blend it together and let's see and i think this is awesome or what do you think this is awesome for the meantime yeah for the meantime this is awesome for the meantime yeah and then press enter and guys this is how we are able or we were able to achieve this awesome design in photoshop and guys please subscribe to the channel like and share and i believe if you watch the video carefully you have seen the password yes if you watch the video carefully after this end you have seen the password and then you can use it to extract this psd file and then again get access to this nice mockup and then use it on your social media handles for free please if you get the password comment and i i get it if you get the password comment i get it do not type the password beneath it just do not type the password under the comment section just type i get it if you get the password i love you i'll see you in the next tutorials bye for now peace